world. What is up guys, it is CJ Cheese DJ here and today I'll be showing you how to get Nox Ultimate Weapon in Final Fantasy XV. Um, so I don't actually have it on me at the moment because it's with Cindy's grandfather, Sid. Um, but his Engine Blade, which is a regular sword, which would be above the Blaze Fire Saber at the moment, is um, upgradable, like the machinery that you can obtain. Um, pretty much all you have to do is take it to Sid with the right parts and he'll upgrade it to the next stage for you. So once you get once you get up to Sid, you'll need to hand in a rusted bit in order to upgrade the first stage. Pretty much what you want to do with that is you want to go into the first dungeon, uh, which is all the way over here. Now you don't actually have to go into it straight away. It's part of the storyline, so just go along with the story, um, and you'll eventually get the rusted bit. Anyway, once you get that, the next one is slightly more difficult. Um, you have to wait. No, we don't want to refuel. Uh, you have to get up to Old Nostalum, so you have to get roughly up to Chapter 3. You have to get up to Chapter 3, and yeah, once you once you get that, you need to go to Lestalum, which is the, um, it's pretty much goes along with the story once again, so you can pretty much just um, follow the storyline and you'll pretty much get there in no time. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to like wait that long to progress the story, you just head straight for Lestalum, because there's a huge chunk of map in between um, Lestalem and Hammerhead, so Lestalem is all the way over somewhere here, where is it? Uh, here it is, right here. So yeah, Lestalem's all the way over here, so we'll head over there now. Alrighty guys, once you get to Lestalem, you pretty much want to head up this staircase here. Once you get up here, da da da, you'll see straight ahead of you there's a restaurant or something, and some fancy pipe work, and some bushes that you can't seem to get through. Oh my god, okay. Can we, can we please cooperate? Oh, seriously? Okay, so you come through here, eventually, once you've managed to get through it and you're slightly more coordinated than I am, and it'll be on this table here, and pretty much what it is, is a glass gemstone, and it's the second stage for Noctis' ultimate weapon, so once you get that, head back to Sid, um, hand him the sword, it'll take, I don't think it'll take too long to upgrade, um, and then yeah, so that's a, that's the second stage, yep, so once you get to the second stage, you then want to head to Old Lestalem, which is all the way down here. So you can see here, it's an outpost, Old Stalin. So you pretty much want to travel here next. And yeah, I'll bring you guys back for when we get to Old Stalin. Alrighty guys, and we are now in Old Stalin. So once you get to Old Stalin, you're going to want to head into the diner where you find your hunts. And you're pretty much going to want to do a hunt for this last material that you need. There so we'll talk are. to this guy. Get He's even wearing a fancy chef jacket, what a pro. And Job disregard this hunt that is being displayed. This has nothing to do with how to get it. Alrighty, so you then want to take up the new hunt, and the hunt that you were looking for is the last Spiricorn. So you want to accept this quest. Once you accept it, you will get taken to. Thank you. Once you accept it, you'll need to hunt um, Spiricorns and Duplicorns. I'm pretty sure they're called. Um, and the, what you're after is the Duplicorns because they're the ones that drop the item that you need. Um, so you can see here it's just here and it is much easier to face these guys in the day than it is the night as you cannot see them and what you want to do is then you want to actually as well split the spirit corns apart from the duplicorns as the spirit corn not spirit corns sorry the duplicorns are a lot harder to kill and you want to focus on them more and the spirit corns will just get in the way of the, the unicorns Unicorns? Is that what they're called? I don't think they're called unicorns. Duplicorns. Duplicorns. Alright, so we're coming up to it slowly. No, we're heading in the complete opposite direction. Alright, I'll bring you guys back when we get there. Alrighty guys, and so we're back with the hunt. And as you can see, we've got Spiricorns and it's pit black. And I did not take my own advice and hunt them during the day. So you can see here, there are the Spiricorns. They're the regular size ones that you kind of want to kill off first. And then these big ones are the Duplicorns. So what you want to do is you want to target their, their horns. Um, you just lock onto them like that, warp strike to them, just continuously hit the horns. That's what you want to break. Um, and once you once you do it, you they'll have a chance of dropping the item you need, which is the sturdy horn or something like that. It's a sturdy horn or something. I'll show you guys it in a bit. 
Um, but what I'd recommend is saving before you start attacking them, because if they don't drop it, this is, this is the only way to get um, to get the item in the game. Um, so you pretty much just want to save before you go up against them, um, and keep reloading until you get the item if you don't get it the first go around, which um, it took me about three tries to get it, so I was pretty lucky in that regard. Um, so yeah, once you once you kill the duplicorns, as you can see, I'm just taking damage. I'm just for the point to show you guys. Um, so yeah, you just want to attack their their, their their horn, and now we're dying. Okay. Yeah, so you just want to attack their horn, and eventually it'll drop off the sturdy um, horn that you need, and I'll show you that in a bit. Alrighty, guys, and we're back after the hunt, and we have gotten the item, and I will show you it now if you go into treasures. So yeah, the sturdy helix one, that's what you need to get the final stage of the Ultima weapon. And this will actually upgrade it into the Ultima weapon. So once you get this, head on back to, to Sid after you've collected it the second time after using the glass gemstone. Um, and yeah, you, you use the sturdy helix one and you want to do a few quests, a few hunts, um, and eventually he'll call you. Um, and then you will get the um, Ultima weapon for Noct. Um, no, I don't want to refuel again. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you get the ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy 15. Um, it's it's not that difficult to get. You can get it, like, I'm only up to Chapter 3. And um, I've pretty much got it now. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take too much to get. It's not that hard. You need to be about level 20 to get all the um, the stuff that you need. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'll just quickly show you guys um, me handing in the ultimate weapon. Alrighty, and we're back at Sid, so... Here we go. You can see we're getting. We, this is just after handing it in for the glass gemstone. So you can see it's better engine blade two. So we've got engine blade three now. So if we talk to him again, yeah, go on, mate. So yeah, you can see he Sid will upgrade the engine blade three, but he might take a while. So yeah, pass the time by undertaking quests and hunt. So you pretty much just want to complete some quests and some more hunts, um, and you'll eventually. He'll call you and you'll get the ultimate weapon. So if we hand this over, there you go. Now we just have to wait for it to, to finish modifying, guys. And that's pretty much how you get the ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy 15. Now, that is Nox's strongest weapon based off all the stats and stuff that it gives you. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, guys, catch you in the next one.